And now it's time for the media review portion of our show, or as Professor Van Helsing calls it... The ghastly paraphernalia of our beneficial trade. Amazing. He nails it every single time. Our media review today is a graphic novel, which is a series of three Batman graphic novels. The title is called Batman Vampire. It was written by Doug Monch, Kelly Jones, and Malcolm Jones. There are three stories in this. The first, Red Rain, the second, Bloodstorm, and Crimson Mist. The first story, Red Rain, actually puts Batman up against Dracula. This was also the inspiration for an animated movie called The Batman vs. Dracula, based on the animated series The Batman. You see characters like Selina Kyle, the Joker, Talia, the Riddler, Two-Face, even Killer Croc make an appearance. But the interesting part is the dissension into vampirism coming from Batman himself. So this is an Elseworlds novel. It's not boring, but it's a little bit over the top and gory. And that's fine, but it's a true Batman who stripped of all his humanity and essentially goes down the path. It's extremely dark, even for Batman. It's a little bit unrealistic. I think initially where it goes is very sweet, but once Batman is stripped of his humanity, he becomes not really Batman at all. It works for the first part, Red Rain, which is very interesting, and it works for the second part, and in fact, where he takes on the Joker. There's a lot of interesting mythology, a lot of ties between Batman and Dracula. Some say that you look at Dracula and you squint your eyes, you see Batman. I wouldn't give it the Dracula podcast seal of approval, but like films, Dracula has risen from the grave and tastes the blood of Dracula. It's one of those above average borderline pieces that you might consider buying. Looking at Amazon right now, it's $17.33. I would actually recommend reading it, but there are other things you can read first. And also fans of The Dark Knight might find this interesting, but there are much better Batman stories out there. My favorites being Nightfall, Year One, No Man's Land, Hush, The Long Halloween, and those of that ilk. Dracula has a lot of good graphic novels out there, which we'll continue to cover. But that, in an essence, is Batman Vampire, once again written by Doug Monch and Kelly Jones. It's above average, so if you can, pick it up. If not, no sweat. <laughs> 